So, what is a chain-free property? You've probably seen uh, on some property details people talking about chain-free. Uh, is it a good thing? And how is it going to affect you in your purchase? I'll explain it after this short intro. I'm Tim Hill, internet entrepreneur, property investor, and author of How to Really Buy a Property. No. It's not one of those books that goes on and on about how you can make millions investing in property and all you have to do is go on my course to learn the secrets and then you go on my course and you find out that you have to go on my master course to learn the real secrets. None of that. If you have decided to buy a property, no matter what your motivation, then how to really buy a property is the smart way to do it. And it will save you time, money and stress. So chain free really just means that when you're buying this property, the person who's selling, the vendor, isn't going to be going off and looking for a property to buy himself. So you're not going to get into a situation where you're saying, I want to buy, I'm ready to buy, uh, I've got my mortgage in place, all the paperwork is done, I am ready to buy. And the vendor is saying, hey, well, you know, I'm still looking for a place for myself. Uh, because you can get into these situations where Perhaps a vendor thinks that uh, his property is worth a certain amount, but he thinks that he can buy something better for a certain amount, and he's or she's out there looking forever. So the idea that you're not going to be waiting around for a vendor to find a property is quite an attractive one. It just means that as soon as you, your solicitor has gathered together all the paperwork, and if you need a mortgage, you've got that mortgage in place, um, both of you can sign your final documents and you can move in. You can take the keys and you can move in. And because that's so attractive, estate agents are always saying on their property details, or, you know, this is chain free. Now, it can get confused quite often with vacant possession. They're not quite the same things. Chain free means the vendor doesn't have to find somewhere to buy before you can buy. But vacant possession means the property is completely empty. So you can have a chain free property. Let's say I, I'm selling to you and I'm living in the property. But what I've decided to do is that after you're ready to buy, I'm going to move out and rent. OK, so that's going to be quite straightforward because rentals are, are quick. So it's the property is chain free. We're not going to get into a situation where I'm buying something from someone. Someone's buying then needs to buy something. Somebody then needs to buy something. And this is the chain that we talk about. Getting involved in. uh, it's still a chain free property, uh, but it's not vacant. So when you see people uh, or estate agents going, it's chain free and it's vacant possession. You know, for a buyer who wants to move in quickly, that's a double whammy of good news. It means that as soon as you're ready, you pay your deposit, you move to completion the final day that the property becomes yours and you just move straight in. But even so, chain free is very attractive much more attractive than the possibility of getting caught up in a long chain of people you buying, they're selling, but they're selling and they're also buying and they're from whoever they're buying from also needs to sell. Uh, you can get very long chains filled up. And the longest one I've ever seen involved 11 properties and they're all needed to get all their paperwork all together and, and everybody needed to agree. Uh, uh, all these like 11 properties, so 12 different parties involved all needed to agree when the deal was actually going to take place so that they could all get their own, you know, removals in place. It was a nightmare. So, yes, chain free, it's attractive. That's all for this short video. There's much more information in the book, How to Really Buy a Property. As always, if you found this information useful, please remember to subscribe, to share, to like, to do all those social media things. It all helps other people who need this information find it more easily. If you've got some specific questions which you'd like me to have a go at answering, please put them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them. And in the meantime, good luck with your property purchase.